Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture Polluted Plutonium and so on. Number one, two, one, one hundred and twenty-one. With a huge train distribution office now. I don't know if it works, that's what we're here to find out. Kind of, sort of, hopefully. If it loads, mm. ah, it's about to. It's about to load. There we go. Importing vehicles uh, close, uh, closer than uh, than ever. Mm. <coughs> this took a while. Yeah, game initialized. Here it is. It's pretty big. It has to to need some vehicles and also railway. Uh, needs to have rail signals. I have set up rail signals for you here, so I don't know why you're complaining. And you have vehicles. You don't seem to have wagons. I sent the current, the, the, the other ones here. Hmm. We, we start by adding the, the customs office. That's the connection. That's not where that resides. That's over here. Let me tell you to unload various things. Where did the wagons go that I sent in here? I have no idea. Fine, uh, we'll, we'll buy more cargo wagon, tanker. A few of them will have. Railway needs to have rail signals. Okay. And then the idea is that you go, you, you load from there and you load from there. And you keep that no percent. Yes, you empty it out. Ah, uh, okay. Whatever you're saying about uh, that uh, the railway needs rail signals, it seems to be working. And this kind of length of train is sure not to cause any issues whatsoever with my fantastically well-planned railroad. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's lovely to see a long train snaking its way through here. I built a little bridge here rather than a level crossing. Didn't like the level crossing, so we have an, a terrible, ugly bridge instead. Yes. And the way it apparently works is that we have these here as a sort of intermediates. So I'll turn the pumps back on to fill those up for, for the ships. But Maybe, just maybe, the ships that are coming back here, <laughs> yeah, wherever they are. Are you one of them? No, that's a cold ship. Are you one of them? No, that's a steel ship. Yeah, they'll be gone for a while, I suppose. Okay. Yes, you're slightly too long. Uh, it will prevent this train from exiting. But you, you did pass the switch. 
so you'll be able to uh, you're on the correct side already so you'll be able to ob ob obey the traffic rules once you get get around to going out of here but you'll have to wait for the other one Meanwhile, have we set uh, this as a source too? Uh, nope. You can't send that long trains in there though without issue, I don't think. Also, you only have two locomotives. Are you going to fix it up with another one? Oh, this could be interesting. What happens when you send this longer train in there? Hmm. It is sort of permissible to enter and exit the roundabouts in every which way you want to, so you might be able to figure it out. Though you are blocking the whole thing. Even here, yes, it's two ways, so, so it should be fine. It should be able to to work this out. Here comes, here comes this one. Uh, I'm a bit interested to see what happens with all this. You're clever enough that you can figure out that you can pass by the roundabout even though there is a train technically occupying that block. Yes, as long as you know what you're doing, that's fine. That's a train. As we head out into the sunrise with how much? 1,680 tons of fuel on board at a value of 8.2 million dollars. Not even losing a single bit of speed up the hill here. Does my railway cope with this length of train then? Perhaps? Wait a minute, down here it might not come to think of it. Hmm. I think it is far enough between the switch that we just passed by and, and the border house. 
That's going to be close. And you... <laughs> I think that we we just just have made it by like 50 centimeters or so. There. I can hear another train coming. And you'll most likely wait. Wait here, I'd imagine. I'd suggest that you break. Yes, that is definitely how brakes work on trains. Down to, to instant stops in, uh, in, in downhill loaded at a uh, gross weight of two, two and a half thousand tons. <sighs> That's definitely how brakes work on trains. But if this works, that, that it actually cleared the switch, which it looks like it has done, then it's fantastic. If it didn't, uh, this would be a bit of a mess to tangle out. Try and fix. Now, preferably you would wait on this side, because you won't fit. You're not waiting on this side. Or will you fit? No, you see, it didn't fit. Um, then we should most probably have a chain signal here then. Because then it would not have allowed that train in. There is a chain signal. Okay. Now this should also be a chain signal then. So as long as that one is red, uh, that train wouldn't have been let in. Yes. I mean, it might work itself out if this turns around and makes it back on this track. This will have a free path and go down, which would in turn maybe allow this one to, to notch its way forwards a bit, and therefore leaving the track clear for the, other, for the first train to exit. I'd hope. Uh, we shall see, very soon see. It's only 300 tons remaining now on this one. Train is waiting for too long. No, it's not. It's according to design. If it works, it's according to design. If it doesn't work, then it's a, a, a little mishap. What are you doing? Importing electronics. Yes, you still can't keep up. Come on then, turn around, be done. Really want to see this clear here. I mean, otherwise we can we can always set the trains to be a little bit shorter than this. But Bert, how much longer train as possible? Yeah, it, 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 it worked. Wonderful. And now you'll get to go, in turn will allow you to go, which in turn will make this work out. I'll have to wait there for a bit, but only until this one starts rolling down the hill.
Oh, you have it. The train distribution office is selling the petroleum products rather than the Atlanta slow ship. Here is uh, the fuel exporting ship. Should we put that in in the dock for the time being to see if the trains can can actually keep up and what effect, if any, it will have? Sure. There'll also be a bitumen ship out there somewhere. This is much better here that we don't have to interfere with the passenger lines. Much cleaner. It's actually quite a decent railroad uh, as it turns out. thing that's missing then is to, to build the rail line all the way down to the border connection here with, with the so-called Soviet Union here, here in 2021. But uh, nah. We'll keep keep investing, uh, keep keep the pensions fund in, in the dollars and rubles are, are constantly dwindling. I think, when when did we last sell anything for rubles, by the way? There, 1987. <laughs> that was the last time we sold anything in rubles. Okay. That, that has lasted us quite a while. I'd say many vehicles have been bought uh, for rubles in that time. Still have 130 million of them. I'd imagine that you want to set off again, right? Because we have plenty of. Yes, we have a lot of fuel here. And bitumen. And it is quite possible that this will not be enough. So the trains won't be able to handle it. Uh, could buy more trains. Could set them to, to just a little tiny bit shorter, maybe. <laughs> safer. <laughs> Chicken cop out S uh, three hundred and ten meters. I seem to be able to house quite a few of these. They are not free though, uh, no, but that's okay because we're buying American uh, wag uh, <laughs> locomotives. What could possibly happen now?
quite a few terrible things that I'd imagine could happen now that we're trying to send out this many trains at once of this length. That one's really short though. Why so short? This one's not. Uh, this is going to not uh, mess up anything. Everything is going to work out just right here. Careful there, do you manage to get by? Yes, you managed to pause. No, you turned around. What are you doing? This is not okay. <clears throat> uh, you have a little bit of an issue here. I can see. Where is it that you want to go? You want to go past here. Uh, you'll, um, this will be problematic, I can tell you. Because as long as that one is stand staying there, it needs to go out this way that it came in. Um, yes. Go home. And the same goes for this one. It's not going to work neither. You sort of made it past and then you, you stopped and turned around. <laughs> Why? This is the, the, the issue now here, that they, they kiss a little bit and, and can't have trains kissing. Now that you're leaving, it is going to be fine. Uh, <coughs> could probably put a semaphore in to prevent that behavior. We could put the semaphore in here. Keep the train here instead. That will block a whole lot, but it's okay. Take it easy now here. You just keep sending them out, and sending them out. Uh, you definitely need a robust train network if you wanted to, to use the train distribution office. Uh, but uh, wh what is your, your problem? You just wait here until this one's gone. It's red. You don't go past that point. You can't go. You can't. You can't go. There is a train. Yeah, there is a train. You have to wait. Yeah, it's red. You have a red signal. Do you not? Yes, you do. Don't try to be too clever about this. That damn game.
And now you're allowed to go. And everything will work itself out. Doesn't matter how, how robust the railroad is if the game tries to be too smart about it, when it isn't. Train is waiting for too long. I, I'd suspect that is at the border house. No. Yes, kind of. Could say. Due to the all these uh, all these chain signals. Yes, but I think I prefer to have it this way. Uh, that they queue here. And you'll have to stop all the way out there, which is also okay. That is a chain signal, is it not? Yes, it is. You'd have to wait there, and then you wait there. And, uh. This should be a chain signal as well. Oh, train is not waiting for too long. It just takes this amount of time. Since we only have one, uh, one slot at the customs house. Here comes the the other bit, the bitumenship that we're also going to put into the dock for the time being. So just to see if the trains can can cope or not. I don't think that they'll be able to cope. To give it a shot. I'd prefer to have it in, in this one, but it uh, no, that's the one with the one on, on land. Can't have it there. That's it's okay. Right then, it would appear that we have now shifted the oil exports from being sea-based to being railroad-based with only one water post connection. This will probably be too much of a you know, narrow a funnel to get all the product out of. So we'll have to re-employ most likely the, the 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 ships. But for the time being it's it's an interesting experiment. And there is one thing I need to do here. I, I need to change this so that it keeps 10% in this of the ships that still remain and comes here to load uh, they are for internal use they distribute fuel and bitumen to down to coal and to uh, to yarn over there so on that's important okay Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say uh, if there's anything more to add here this evening. I don't think so. This will have to be it. I thank you so very much for watching. Um, we have now implemented trains to a much greater extent than I, I'd ever have had expected here in the People's Petroleum Prefecture. Uh, therefore, we're now getting these notifications all the time. Train is waiting for too long. You know, this is going to happen quite a lot. Um, so much so that I don't care. Uh, because it's sort of expected with this setup that we have. Right. Yes. You could go into the... Into the terrain editor and change this out for a larger customs house one with three tracks maybe that would make possibly make this a bit more feasible gonna have three three trains unloading simultaneously rather than one could be something to think about for for future or for right now <laughs> maybe uh, anyway good night or wait, it's it's leaving now. Should we should we try and replace this with? Uh, let's save first. 
case it uh, it screws up badly. I also need to relay the track then. Uh, yes, I'd also re need to relay the track. Hmm. Uh, this could be uh, this could be interesting. But as long as you're there, uh, that train won't uh, be let through. Okay, so we enter debugging mode. And we go into... <laughs> where is it? Somewhere here. General debug cheat functions and landscape editor mode. And now I believe that we can demolish this. We need to unpause for that to happen. Yes, you, you have a question mark. No, that's okay. You can have your question mark. There you go, that's gone. And... Uh, demolish a bit. And a bit. And... Uh, where is it that they keep these forum power connection? Water square. Large custom house. Small. Medium, large place. That's more like it. I suppose to make this uh, deal somewhat realistic, we'd have to connect up the railroad on the other side here too. But this, do I need, I can't construct this, right? I have to pay for it, I suppose. Oh, it's, uh, when, it, when you're on pause, it just, it just shows up. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, Getting them in. This I, I'll have to rebuild myself. That, I'm fine with that and that piece of road too. But this. Can't really do that myself. I'm not allowed on this side of the border. Uh, what happens if I exit uh, debugging uh, this landscape editor mode? There we go. I can still pay for them, it would seem. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, you go home. We have lots of trains in, in queue here that, that's going to go home now. And uh, that are confused about what's going on. That's how it is. Might even lose all the resources that they have on board whilst doing this. Okay. Um, I need to fix this r railroad up here. Quite a bit. Make it into a three way thing. I'll just assign to build, finish that bit. Okay. I would like to snap in near snap. Ah, the, f the affiliates have not been notified regarding the 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 slight overdraft on running time this time, I'm sorry. Uh, there was just this and this and this that had to be done. And and then it ended up being a bit more. Uh, um, wait, did we... I think that we'll... Let's see, tape, tape measure please. Tape measure. From here, 
to about here. How much is that? 350 meters and the trains are 310 meters long. Uh, so, therefore, we'll take, take this, cancel a bit. Hook that up onto there, and then get a switch in here, a diamond. Like so. That should be all of it. And uh, later on, also a bit of semaphoring up in there, and, and it should all be good. Okay. Um, yes, there we go. That's not the construction yard. That, this is the railroad construction office. Start there. You don't have path. That's because the semaphore here is one way. For the time being, not do it like so. Road connection does not exist. Yes, it does. You're allowed to go uh, in either direction. There now. Yes, it does. Hmm. Ah, there are more semaphores along the way. See, there we go. Now, now you can. You can do this. Okay. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. People's Petroleum Perfecture, number 120, what was it? 21, 2, something, 1. But it went on for, for quite a while. Yes. With that, good night.